Hello and welcome to another edition of Barton Makes Picks. I'm Barton Simmons. With me, as always, is Trey Scott. We're going through the country, touring coast to coast, mm -hmm. game by game, making the picks, making the predictions for the season. And, and today, right now, we're going to talk the Nebraska Cornhuskers, kind of the darling of the college football media right now. We've been waiting a long time to talk about Scott Frost's program. They were 4-8 and eight a year ago. Suddenly, they're the pick in the Big Ten West preseason. That's pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, given the season they had, that's pretty wild. Uh, let's figure out if, if, if this schedule agrees with the media yeah. here. All right, yeah. so let's get into it with South Alabama. I'm going to give them a win there. 1-0. Uh, 1-0 oh. oh at Colorado. I don't think that that's one you can just gloss no, over. No, I mean, last year was an epic game. Yeah, Steven Montez, outstanding quarterback. They've got one of the best wide receivers in the country. And I think this is, again, a road game. So this is a test that I feel like a lot of people have just chalked up as a win. I'm going to do the same, though. I, okay. I think Nebraska wins it. I'll tell you what, though, at 2-0, there are a lot of good Week 2 games, Clemson A&M, LSU, Texas. This, this one is a really great old rivalry. I'm excited about it. 2-0, Northern Illinois. Can we can we make it 3-0? Yeah, let's make that one quick. All right, 3-0. Now to, the, to Illinois, Illinois. Yeah. Illinois. Yeah. 4-0. Yeah, going to Champaign. And, and, I mean, look, Lovey Smith had this whole influx of grad transfers, new faces. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. It doesn't speak highly of where the program is right now. And if you need all these guys to come in and be quick fixes, I think Nebraska, even in year two under, under uh, Scott Frost, seems to be on steadier footing. I'm going to go ahead and pick Nebraska to win that. 4-0, oh, starting much better than you did last season. Now, we've been all been waiting for this one. Ohio State, maybe a Heisman quarterback clash between Justin Fields and Adrian Martinez. You got something here for me? I mean, at this point in the season, Justin Fields hasn't really been tested. The, you know, since the Scott Frost fever pitch is increasing by the week as they're undefeated, mm -hmm. but uh, there's just too much talent on that Ohio State roster. And Justin Fields, if he's just a, a shadow of what we expect him to be, that's just going to be too tall of a task, especially um, well, it is at home. It's they got at home. I think game day might be here. Yeah, yeah, it could be. So, but I, I think Ohio State's going to win. Maybe uh, Wandale Robinson what, does what Rondale Moore did at Ohio State last year. Northwestern. Now, this is a tough game. I mean, Northwestern, while they lose a lot last year, Hunter Johnson returns at quarterback as the transfer from Clemson, a guy that is believed to be uh, an NFL talent. So, you, you've got some uh, a scare factor here, but this is – a game Nebraska should win if we're expecting to take a step forward. So I'm going to go Nebraska with a W. All right, so you're five and one. You bounce back nicely from that Buckeye loss at Minnesota now. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this Nebraska team and the expectations, but there's still some questions that need to be answered defensively. I think this is a team that is, I mean, they, they had a lot, a lot, a lot of holes in that defense last year. They need to improve, get more consistent at that front. Um, they need to find skill play, playmakers on the offensive side of the ball alongside Adrian Martinez. P.J. Fleck has quietly gone about his business and really improved things at Minnesota as well. On the road, I think Minnesota wins this game. Five and two, yeah. Minnesota is certainly getting slept on this preseason. By week, Indiana. Yeah, I, I think I Indiana is not a team that I see ready to go on the road, take on this Nebraska team after a loss and a bye week. They're trying to get right. They're going to beat Indiana. Six and two. Indiana kind of feels like everyone's sacrificial lamb this year. At Purdue, this should be a really fun game. Yeah, I mean, which, Rom versus Frost. Come on. Which home game is Purdue going to catch somebody on? And this is not. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in this spot. Heading to West Lafayette. Um, I, I think that Jeff Brom has a great game plan, uh, and this is going to be a fun game. But I, I actually have Purdue winning this one. Yeah, I, I kind of have to agree with you there. Six and three though. So you're at least going bowling by now. By week, Wisconsin. This could decide the Big Ten West. How about a signature game here? I mean, this is we're still kind of waiting for that real win that indicates, all right, Nebraska is is firmly on the way to being back. Uh, I've got Nebraska winning against Wisconsin at home. That would take a stout defensive effort. I think they'll be there. I mean, if they're going to improve defensively, it's just going to take some time. And I think at this point in the season, uh, they're going to be almost there. I've got a trap game suggestion for you. Sandwiched between Wisconsin and Iowa is a trip to Maryland. Yeah, that's a great point. I think they got to be alert for that game. Um, and, and I mean, Maryland has really been snake bit at the quarterback position, staying healthy there. So if they just keep Josh Jackson on his feet, they've got a chance. But uh, I, I still think Nebraska, again, because of the expectation that they will be improved, I think they're capable and equipped to win this sort of game. I think they win. Eight and three, you're flying high. Iowa, 
I love this game. Yeah, like one of my one favorite of the games on the schedule nationally. A Friday night game to end the season could decide the Big Ten West. Um, Iowa at home. I think Nebraska is capable of winning this game. I picked Iowa to do it. And so eight and four is what we finish at. I don't know if that's enough to get the Big Ten West. What's funny is after four and eight to eight and four, I'm not even sure Nebraska fans are going to be happy with that because the expectations are so high, but that's improvement.